Hello and welcome to Money Control. You're currently tuned into the IPO corner. I'm your host Nikki Mishalani, and today our focus will be on TVS Supply Chain Solution IPO. Now, the IPO is coming to the primary markets with a size of around 880 crore. Opportunity of investment in a TVS Group company comes after a span of 32 long years. Now, let's understand the pricing. The price band stands at around 187 to 197 per share. TVS Supply Chain Solution comprises of a fresh issue of around 600 crore and another OFS coming in from the existing shareholders to an exist of around 280 odd crore. GM Financial, Access Capital, JP Morgan, BNP Paribas, Novama Wealth Management are some of the book running lead managers to the IPO. Let's understand more about the company TVA Supply Chain Solution in present over 25 countries. The company is promoted by Earthsfile TVS Group and is now a part of TVS Mobility Group which has four business verticals, supply chain solution, manufacturing and auto dealership and aftermarket sales and services. TVS Supply Chain Solution IPO will open for subscription on August 10, close on August 14. The basis of share allotment is anticipated to be determined on August 18 with the initiation of refunds which is likely to be scheduled for August 21st. TVS Supply Chain Solution shares are expected to be credited to eligible shareholders' DMAT account on August 22nd and shares are expected to be tentatively listed by August 23rd. Let's look at the IPO reservations out there. 75% of the IPO size has been reserved for qualified institutional investors, 15% for non-institutional investors and the remaining 10% for retail category. The minimum lot size of the retail category is to an extent of 76 shares, that's one lot, amounting to roughly around 15,000 and maximum of 13 lots aggregating to around 1.94 lakhs. In terms of promoter shareholding, TVS Mobility Private, TS Rajam Rubbers Private Limited and then Rama Mobility Solution are the company's promoter. With this listing, the dilution is to an extent of 5 odd percent. Objects of the issue? While the company intends to utilize the proceeds towards the repayment or the prepayment of certain outstanding borrowings availed by the company and the subsidiaries like TVS LI UK and TVS SCS Singapore for that matter. Let's understand the grey market premium now. A bit of subdued trend is currently being witnessed in the primary markets after the muted listing seen by Yathat Hospital. TVS Supply Chain Solution IPO G Overall, grey market premium to an extent is seen in the range of around 30 per share according to the data on IPO watch. With this, shares of TVS supply chain solutions are expected to be listed in the range of around 225 to 230 per share. Now, let's understand the financial profile of the company. The company has reported a profit of 42 crore after three consecutive years of losses. Margin profile remains stable around that 6 to 7 odd percent over the past few financial year. Let's talk about the five key highlights of the IPO. The company is an India-based multinational company that has pioneered the development of the supply chain solution market in India. It's promoted by Earthswile TVS Group, one of the most reputed business groups in India and is now a part of TVS Mobility Group. Revenue is mostly driven by a combination of cost plus management and deployment link earnings. Notably, the company has a lower revenue growth profile rate as compared to that of listed peers. The company has turned profitable only in FY23, was incurring losses for the last three financial years. Now, the company maintains a higher leverage of three times in FY23. The proceeds of this IPO will be used towards the repayment. With this, it's a wrap. And goodbye from the entire team who puts this piece together. Thank you so much for tuning in.